Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Ask b Boy Spaz Episode 2. Basically, this time I'm not gonna just settle out on one question, but I've had a lot of people ask me about um, how to go about with the acapellas and lining them up. If you've been watching my videos, you already know that I've done a video on acapellas, but I'm gonna actually go through the steps again and just kind of talk about the actual steps rather than just doing it real quick. Um, let's go ahead and go over that. All right, so step one, other than getting your acapella, is going to be putting it into Ableton and getting it close to tempo. Now, the way we went about that was, first, I get my acapella. I'm just going to drag it in here. Now, as always, Ableton tries to auto-warp it, but we don't want that. So right here, you're going to want to turn warp off. After you do that, you need to compare the acapella with the actual track. And then go ahead and tap in your tempo while you're playing the track. So right up here is where we tap tempo. And basically, you just click it four times for your 4-4 four, four time signature, and it'll give you a close to um, BPM for the song. So. Here's our song. And then I'm just going to go ahead and tap the tempo while I'm listening to it. All right, so 96.30, it's pretty good. Um, if you want, you could just change it to 96. Do whatever you want to with it now. After that, we're going to go ahead and re-warp the track. So it is warped at 96.30, and it'll make it easier for us to do our warp markers. All right, step two involves the warp markers and basically getting this acapella totally in sync with the beat. Now the biggest thing I like to do first, yet again comparing with the track, is seeing when the acapella actually comes in. I'm calling. Yeah, maybe I'm selfish. So if you heard that, calling was the first beat of the first measure. Everything before that was a pickup note. Calling. Yeah, maybe. You see here, this doesn't even have the, yeah, here's the I'm. I'm calling. Yeah. So what I normally like to do, first off, you can turn up your acapella a little bit right here. And then we're going to want to go ahead and move beat one to the first Move it up to measure two so that you have some space for that pickup. And then you got to move the playhead back. I'm calling. I'm calling. Yeah, maybe I'm selfish. I want you to myself. I can't help it. Oh my. Yeah, maybe see now I'm it's selfish. pretty much in tempo. Ladies and I can But what we got to do just to make sure is you actually listen to the whole song, and I would do about every five measures. Make sure you line up the warp marker. The way we go about that is while you're listening to it. I'm calling. Yeah, maybe I'm selfish. Make sure you're counting out the notes. To myself, I can't help it. Oh my. Keep yourself yeah, moving up selfish. to what measure you're at. You're my ladies and I. So this is five, and it's pretty much right. What you have to do to be able to warp any of the rest of these that don't have a yellow box around them is you just double click it. Then you can move it up some. 
Now make sure when you're warping the acapella, always do about five measures because if you start doing every one or every two measures, you might throw off the flow of the actual acapella and then it's going to be all weird unless you want to actually do that. I'm calling, yeah, maybe I'm selfish, I want you to myself, I can't help it, all my, yeah, maybe I'm selfish, you're my lady. So pretty much just listen to the whole acapella, go through, every five measures, mark it off, line it up, that'd be step two. And pretty much after that, it's what you want to do with it, um... By then, everything should be lined up. The one thing you want to remember is if you make the acapella slower or something, you might want to change it to complex mode rather than beats, depending on how it sounds, things of that sort. But other than that, getting it in tempo and doing the warp markers are probably the most important part of lining up your acapella. All right, peace.